Bueno, le damos ya la bienvenida al programa Viva las Tardes con esta servidora, con Elaine. Hoy tenemos un programa muy lindo, muy especial, muy diferente, porque hoy vamos a estar cambiando el lenguaje del español al inglés. Tenemos dos invitados preciosos aquí que nos acompañan en el estudio. Vamos a conocerlos a ellos y quiero presentarlos. Él es Councilman Irabor y Lady Shannon Igadaro, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿Es así? Sí, sí. <laughs> welcome, to, welcome to this program. Uh, you're in your house, uh, your home here. Mi casa. And, yes, <laughs> mi casa es su, su casa. casa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am so happy uh, to start this program for the first time in English. Life in the Afternoons with Elaine. Awesome. Mm. Isn't that awesome? Yay! Yes, I'm so Viva excited. Las tardes. Con with, Elaine. Con Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I'm really excited and um, to let everyone know who you are. Who are the Igadaros? Yes, thank you so much, um, Elaine. We are so happy to be here in your house, in the house of God. Amen. In our yes. house. <laughs> My name is Lady Shannon Igodaro. I am first and foremost a woman of God. I'm a mm -hmm. woman of immense faith. Um, I am a believer. I'm married to this wonderful gentleman. Um, you'll hear a little bit more from him. Um, later, but we are parents to beautiful twin daughters, As Sosa and Idea. We were joking earlier that one of the twins look exactly like their dad, and the <laughs> other looks exactly like me. So no complaints. No <laughs> complaints, one of each, and only God could make something like that happen, definitely. But we are so excited to be here. Um, I am a entrepreneur, a small business owner. I'm very passionate, um, Elaine, about empowering women and empowering them to walk in their purpose. Um, one of the reasons that I am running um, for office in the city of Miami Gardens to ensure that we get a piece of the pie, to ensure that we have a piece of whatever is being distributed and to make sure that it is done in a fair way. And I'm just so happy to be here and excited to be on live with you and your audience. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Something that I'd like to uh, bring into conversation, the importance of politics aligned with the God's kingdom. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. That is just so powerful. Mm -hmm. And we need so much of that today. Yes, Arab will let you. Yes, um, Elaine, again, thank you for allowing us to be um, on your show, and uh, thank you for supporting this show. We we need to support people of God, and we need more um, media that shows positive image of families Amen. Amen. in our community. Um, so, politics is 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 a necessary evil. Uh, let me be clear. Um, even in the Bible. God did not ordain for us to have kings. The people asked for kings. Yes. God was is the only king that we need. Amen. Amen. But God said, because you ask, I'm going to give you king because <laughs> that's what you want. <laughs> But so kings are part of a biblical order. Yes. And politics is part of the biblical order. Amen. For the Bible says, when the righteous are in power, the people rejoice. rejoice. Amen. You know, so God wants people of faith to be in position of authority. Uh, Dr. Martin Luther King put it this way. He said, the only thing for necessary for evil to prevail is for good people to do nothing. Oh my Lord. Amen. So yes. if you're good and just you're standing on the sidelines, mm -hmm. you're not doing anything, mm -hmm. then you're not have helping God's mission. Mm -hmm. So you have to be in a position to help people, uh, God's people who are struggling and suffering. Amen. In these our times. So um, I have been in elected office for the last eight years, mm -hmm. but I've been in public service for over 20 years. I've served on the Miami-Dade County School Board uh, with the late Dr. Robert Ingram, and I taught in the public school system. I'm a teacher, college professor, and a pastor of a church in Miami Gardens. So my passion is is public service. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we have been... Um, 
married now for almost 18, 18 years. I met Shannon in college, and uh, the best thing I got from school is not education, <laughs> but the wife that I got. <laughs> amen. Amen. <laughs> A big amen to that. Amen. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, very, I'm very blessed to have a woman that God gave me. For the word says that he that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, Amen. and obtaineth favor of the Lord. Amen. I've Amen. been blessed. I've been blessed to have this woman. So when Miami God has elected me, they elected two for one. <laughs> so they gain the benefit of both. Amen. So thank you again. Thank you. This is so wonderful. But how important is it that men and women of faith are put in places of authority mm -hmm. at this moment in time. Mm -hmm. Well, let me let me just chime in. We we think about um, what we see happening um, on a global scale. I I truly believe that when God speak, we ought to not only be listening, but we ought to be obedient. Mm. Um, I think, um, like your question states. Why is it important for both men and women to step up? We look at um, politics or, or a life of public service as a ministry. Um, in any leadership role, it's important to note that you have people who are looking at you. You're going to have people who are following you. And so it's important um, not just that we walk the walk or talk the talk, but we have to walk the walk. And it is a godly walk. It is a Christian walk. And it's an opportunity to bring um, Christ, to bring ministry to the masses. I believe you can do it a number of ways, but I truly believe a life of public service is the way to go about. Um, Erebo and I, we have a joke um, in our family. I said, you know, you're a PhD and you're sharp. I, I thought we were going to be rich, you know. <laughs> There's so much more that we could do. But um, this man has the heart, truly, Elaine, of a public servant. And like he mentioned, when we got married, it was something that I didn't feel strained about um, because we were equally yoked. And I believe that it's important that not only... Um, we live that way, but it's important that we reflect that in our doing. That, so that, is, that, doing. that is a very, very important point uh, because when you don't have people who hear from God, mm -hmm. leading God's people, then we're in trouble. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people looking at the, the pandemic, uh, and again, our condolences to those who have lost lives. Amen. And we're praying for those who are struggling with this uh, pandemic. But as people of faith, and as for me, as a, as a man of God and somebody who studies scripture, I see it as a plague, not a pandemic. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a different perception mm -hmm. or perspective on the issue. Yes. If you don't have people who have, who have the ear of God mm -hmm. leading God's people, mm -hmm then you think this is just an accident. Mm -hmm. It's something that happened from, mm -hmm. that came from China or some speculations mm -hmm. or some theory. No, this is God speaking to Amen. us. Amen. And, and the scientists are telling us now that there's going to be a second wave mm. of this coming. And I know if you study the Bible, you hear about the 10 plagues. Mm -hmm. It came pattern after pattern after pattern. Yes. And if you're not paying attention and you're not changing for the scripture says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and Amen. pray yes. and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, Amen. then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their Amen. land. If you look at yes. what is happening across the country and all over the world, people of, uh, of, um, who are not faith oriented, leading God's people are making decisions that are really detrimental to the health of our people. In the state of Florida, for instance, they just passed a law. They tried to pass a law. Mm -hmm. Thank God for the conservatives in the Florida legislature. Um, even though I'm a Democrat, and this is not a political, this is not a party issue. Mm -hmm. It's right or wrong Amen. issue. Mm -hmm. The issue of abortion. They were proposing a bill that would allow 
13 year olds to have abortion without parental consent only because of the leadership of the legislature which is the republican and conservative that that bill failed you know some of some of our democrats voted for that bill and one of my opponents voted for that bill to allow 13 year olds to have an abortion my children are just 14 year old wow. how could you make a decision like that that would adversely affect we don't send our children um to go get um uh, alcohol mm-hmm. when you're underage all right you need parental permission to do that to even watch some movies mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you need parental guidance yes so how are you going to allow a child to go commit an abortion so if you don't have people of faith in power then we're killing ourselves indirectly we need to have principles yes. Yes. and order mm-hmm. so things can run correctly Absolutely. and properly yes. and you can be blessed mm-hmm. yes Mm-hmm. Because there's a lot of things going on in different com- communities, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. different sectors yes. that are not positive. Mm-hmm. They're destructive. Mm-hmm. That's right. Now, how do you or how can you help to reverse or make a change mm-hmm. in our communities mm-hmm. today? Mm-hmm. I think the first thing is, is we got to pray. Amen. God is still the ultimate authority. The, he's still our king. And he would speak to us and tell us what we need to do. Amen. I have been charged to run for this uh, this Senate seat. I could have been the next mayor of Miami Gardens. I, you know, I'm the most popular elected official in that city. I won the mo- the election in 2014 with the highest amount of votes in the history of Miami Gardens. Amen. People wanted me to run for mayor, but God told me I need you in Florida Amen. legislature. So I, I I have to make sure that I go there and represent what God wants us to stand for. Amen. You know, we have to stand for the righteousness of God in policy making. Uh, we cannot. I know this is not immigration is a federal issue, but when you look at the TVs, even the last six, uh, eight months, when children were boom, being put in cages, and and malnourished Hmm. because their children of immigrants who didn't have their right papers. That is not who we are as a country. That's not what God. God said, you take care of the orphan, the stranger, the Mm -hmm. widow. You know, that is what America was built on Christian values and principles. principles. Mm -hmm. We should uphold those principles and we need to elect people so you, we pray, we got to vote people in office that are aligned with our values. And that's why we, we're having Shannon, uh, my wife, and yeah. running in Miami Gardens because uh, she, she's, she's built from that cloth. Yes, mm-hmm. I, and I'm excited. It, it's important, like he said. We, whatever we do, we do it from a faith mindset. Um, and it's important, like I said, that that is reflected in everything we do in terms of how we govern our kids, in terms of how we govern our family, in terms of how we look at each other as husband and wife. Um, It's all kingdom-minded. And how do you balance family (laughs) with (laughs) politics? Yes, yes. Our our children were, when my husband first ran for office, and he has a a very um, long legislative um, background, but when he ran for office, our girls were three years old, and he won. And so they are used to that political mindset of daddy being a politician, now with mommy running, (laughs) but they're older. Like you mentioned, God is a God of order. Amen. So it was like he prepared us for such a time as this. Yes. Uh, That's a very critical question, Elaine. I I think uh, when my wife talked about being us being equally yoked, that's very important. Yes. Mm-hmm. If you don't agree in mind, if two people are not, say, how can two people walk and they don't agree? And they don't want to agree? Mm-hmm. That is, if my wife did not support my political ambition, I mm-hmm. will not be a politician. Mm-hmm. So you got to come from that point perspective that there has to be, you talk about uh, complaints, no, these compliments. Yes. 
yes. we complement each other. Yeah, right. So we, we mm-hmm. need we need to make sure that we are doing what we both agree in, and mm-hmm. that God has agreed for us to do. Amen. So, you know, it is it it is a difficult thing for somebody to uh, abandon your own responsibility sometimes, which is taking care of your wife, your children, and going to go help somebody else, child. <laughs> and children. It does not make it sense. It does not make right. sense. Yeah, that's, that's what public service is. That's yeah. what ministry is. Amen. But when, when you both are in sync, yeah, absolutely. It makes it easy. We, go, we go together Amen. to go do ministry. Yes. When I was doing my food giveaways, my food pantries, my helping people during the hurricane, my wife and my children were there. Yes. This is not my show. Amen. It's a family yes. responsibility. And people have seen that. They've seen that. Yes. And that's why they, they're asking her to run for yes. office. Yes. Yes. Where mm-hmm. do you see God taking the both of you? <sighs> wow, that's a great question. Elaine, I believe with God all things are possible. Amen. I was born and raised in the Bahamas. I came here at the age of 23, the first in my family to attend university. So there was really no model of the elder siblings coming to school. My husband was born and raised in Nigeria. Wow. So where I come from at that time, it was 250,000 people. And where he came from was 180 million people. Wow. And we met at Florida Memorial University, the only HBCU in the state of Florida. So I said all of that to say how God is the chief orchestrator. That's all I can say. I believe it's a wonderful time for women and men of God to take the lead in places of authority. But I think it's equally important for husbands and wives to show the importance of family, to show the importance of community, to show the importance of collaboration and working together to to achieve a common goal. So I really see this being an opportunity um, from my point of view to really empower and inspire Mm -hmm. and enlighten an entire new generation of people. We talk about it from an immigrant perspective. We can talk about it from a faith perspective, from a business perspective. They can look at me and say, oh, you're, um, how do you manage being a wife to such a powerful man, a <laughs> pastor, a professor, a politician, and all of these things? And I said, it's, it's easy because from the beginning, we bought into the idea of what being together. joined, absolutely, what being joined together meant. I remembered praying and asking God, if you ever send me a man, you have to send me the right man. Amen. Or I prefer to just be by myself. And I said, if you don't mind God, do you mind if he's tall, dark, and handsome? <laughs> And God, God, God listened. <laughs> Amen. He's very happy with those Amen. words. <laughs> so the sky is truly the limit. And this is ministry. It, it's fun when you can have teenage daughters and, and they see what it means. One of the things I remember um, our twin girls um, saying to me was, Mommy, we are so proud of you. Wow. Because you are, and I said, why, baby? And they said that because you are a woman of God. And that was more than, Mm. uh, there there was no words really to show to our twin daughters what an example of a godly woman um, is. And and I'm excited to show that to the community. I truly am. Thank you, Elaine. Elaine, when we were talking initially, you talked about the 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 challenges and the 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 many years of toil yes. you and your husband mm-hmm. went through to put mm-hmm. together this one one vision Beautiful ministry, ministry. Yes. Yes. Thank it you. takes work it takes mm-hmm. unity yes. it takes collaboration sacrifice. it takes sacrifice Absolutely. the most important imagery and modeling that we have from bible is jesus christ Amen. Amen. he was an example for us to follow and that is uh, to answer your question. What, 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 where do we see God taking us? God has called us to be an example. He's raising up new standard, you know, for what 
marriage should look like. Mm -hmm. Amen. There is an order Amen. in the yes. Bible. Unless you're not a believer of the Bible. Yes. And with, with, with strain from what God said a marriage should be. And that is what we are, myself and my wife. It, is not, it does not come so easily. No. It takes sacrifice. Yes. It takes pain. Some days you, you want to quit. Mm -hmm. Yes. The yeah. people who started this thing, they say, forget I it. Up. I give up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 17 years, 18 years. Ah. It's not easy. Talking about people from different parts of the world. Yes. Different Leading cultures. And figuring different out. things. Yeah. You know, it's not easy. But this is what you promise. Mm -hmm. When you got married, you say, till death do us part. Amen. You know, that's a covenant. It's not a contract. Mm -hmm. So that is what God has asked us to do. Amen. I see a beautiful, beautiful couple. Thank and you. you're really together. Thank you. Your heart is one. Mm -hmm. The Bible says yes. so too. Yes. But I see uh, two people that are engaged to make a difference mm -hmm. in other people's lives. Mm -hmm. And that is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you have difficult days mm -hmm. because you want to make sure that the goodness of God and in humanity mm -hmm. is the one that we really can access to mm -hmm. and build upon mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And that is just wonderful. Mm -hmm. I'm being inspired mm -hmm. by your story, mm -hmm. by your message, mm -hmm. and uh, the endeavor. Uh, mm -hmm. that God has given you Absolutely. to make that difference in this world. Mm -hmm. And it starts uh, where you are now um, working uh, in the community, and now you're uh, mm -hmm. starting to have that opportunity Absolutely. as well. And we pray in Jesus' name yes. yeah. that it gets fulfilled. Amen. Absolutely. That the yes. grace and favor Amen. of God is upon your Amen. lives so Amen. you may continue. Amen to make the difference in this world, especially today. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Where we see so many things and it hurts. Mm -hmm. It hurts mm -hmm. because we hurt with our fellow man. Yes. Mm. yes. And we want them all to see that light Absolutely. and that goodness mm -hmm. that only God can give Amen. us. Amen. Amen. You know, it, it, it's very, just hearing you talk is very um, introspective for me because i was telling my wife one of our young mentees pastor friends called me earlier today i was very impatient with him because i have i'm in the heat of a campaign i have a big responsibility as a pastor also i have i have to be sensitive mm -hmm. but he he is going through things with his wife and strange wife and he wants to call it quits he want to d divorce And I'm not, I'm not with that. That's not what God said. I, mm -hmm. I told him that you got to work these things out, you know. So I was impatient, and I, and I shouldn't be impatient with him. Mm -hmm. You know, I should be more pa compassionate, understanding. But you need, sometimes you have to give tough love. Mm -hmm. God yeah. wants you to stick this thing through, mm -hmm. you know. So sometimes we are hurt, and we hurt people when we hurt. Mm -hmm. So we got to be take take a step back, mm -hmm. take a breather, yes. and listen to people, mm -hmm. listen to their concern. Try to f put yourself in their shoes, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and uh, but don't become them. You got you got <laughs> you got to understand where they're coming from. Yes. You know that's what God has <laughs> called us to do: to be compassionate, mm -hmm. understanding, uh, as He has been to us. Now, Erebo, if I could segue, I think um, being public figures or in the public eye, we get that a lot um, when, and I'm sure it's a universal issue um, that many of us could relate to, whenever there are pressures on the outside, it's very easy to bring those pressures inside. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so how I would deal with with that as a woman of God and as a wife, um, I'm very much in tune, like you mentioned, and aware, not just spiritually, but as a wife, I understand when there is something that may be off with my mm -hmm. husband. So that may not be the right time mm -hmm. to maybe discuss something or do so. There you have that patience coming in as a believer and being able to step back mm -hmm. and to understand, to pray with him. We talked about it on yes, the drive. So and, and as a wife, I just, I started to pray even on the drive. And I said, 
every spirit of confusion, we bind it right now Jesus in the name. mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Because the enemy will use external um, forces or sources to come in and to damage and disrupt. Remember the word says the sole purpose of the enemy is to kill, steal, mm -hmm. and destroy. destroy. Yeah. So we, we, we make sure that we are in tune with whatever the spiritual needs are, emotional needs, psychological needs, every need that we can imagine um, as it relates to our family. And we, we make sure that we address them right away and take care of it. And so when we talk about how difficult it could be, um, this is a prime example in real time that the road is not easy, mm -hmm. but we, we keep <laughs> on, we keep on keeping on. Like I mentioned, when I, when when I my, I came in with my family, I just felt like, okay, I'm home. Should I throw my <laughs> shoes off and, you know, where's the coffee and just, you know, and 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 that is what you exude. That is what ministry should be about. You yeah. should be able to feel it. Mm -hmm. You should be able to feel right about yes. it. If you don't feel right about it, then something is off. Amen. You have to be in tune with your spirituality. Yes. You have to be one. You love that word, right? Yes. One. <laughs> yes, I you have to be <laughs> one, one with Christ, with Christ yes. in order to know um, and to react and know when not to react. And embody, embody yes. the ministry. The ministry. You are the ministry. Yes. Wherever mm. you go. It's not the four walls, no. but rather mm. each individual that Christ receives lives Christ. in us. He lives in us. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy, the Holy Spirit. Ghost. Yes, mm. absolutely. And, absolutely. And that's what we need to connect with every day. Every day. Because you're going to face so much adversities and so many challenges. But at the end of the day, it's God's will. Absolutely. That's right. And that's peace to our hearts. It's peace. Mm. It's contentment. Yes. It, it's joy. Um, there's a song, a, a very old song, and it goes, I've got peace like a river. I'm oh, sure yes. you're aware of that. I've got joy. I've yes. got love like a river, and it flows. But there is no perfect river. It, yes. it can flow a little bit to the left, to the right, east, west, but it flows. You know yes. it's still moving, and you have to be able to let things flow. Amen. Let and he flow. keeps us whole. Absolutely. Mm. So we can sustain those winds. Yes. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little those hurricanes sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Hurricane. <laughs> Hurricane force winds. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Especially today in politics. Yes. Oh, my so, goodness. So uh, I'm honored yes. uh, to be amongst you because you, it is a position of authority. Yes. And the more God gives you, the more he demands. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you said something there. You know, this you know, people want to be leaders. It's not easy to lead cuz sometimes the people who you, you want to lead or who God has asked you to lead uh don't want to follow you. Uh, amen. They don't want to they don't want to do right. Uh, -huh. <laughs> uh as a wife of a pastor, you must understand yes. that. And uh you know, but that's what ministry is about. You love in spite of. Amen. They, they may not like you. That's what they did to Jesus. Mm -hmm. what is, so what do you think you're going to do to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. when, when Moses saved his own brother, so to speak, after killing the Egyptian, he said, you're going to kill me like you killed the Egyptian? Uh, trying to my help? Lord, yeah. You know, so yeah. you got, you, they're going to they're gonna talk about you. They're going to say you didn't do anything mm -hmm. they're gonna you know try to do you harm yeah um but you're gonna love them regardless Press on. Amen. Yeah. you're gonna keep loving yeah that's what Amen. that's what the word says yes, yes. love your enemies Amen. yes do good to those who despitefully ah, use Lord. you yeah. yes yeah it's easier said than done. Uh, yes. <laughs> but if you can conquer that yeah. and oh embody oh. it, yes. there's just nothing you can't do. No. Because yes. God goes before you. Mm. All the time. And Every when day. you walk in, there's something special about you. And yes. people just can't, they can't tell what it yeah. is. <laughs> but they see it and they 
feeling and they feel good. Even on your pictures, let your yes. light shine. shine. Yes, and even I love on your pictures, pictures thank by you. the way. <laughs> even on your pictures, I, yes. you know, I took um, about a year ago, I took um, that picture. I did a photo shoot, and little did I know it would become my official campaign photo. And um, when my husband saw it, he said, you look like a stateswoman. It was, <laughs> it was kind of weird coming from the statesman, but I, I really can see, I, I look at the picture and I, I really can see it. And I know that it is, it is you know, I, I think about, when I think about myself, I think about embodying the, the principles of what Queen Esther did, Amen. being a voice. And, and mm -hmm. I believe that we need, we talk about one voice. Um, we, we need to have a voice that is rooted in our faith and being able to, to speak and to use that voice as a medium. We're in a studio with all of the bells and whistles, but we have a voice yes, and a mind that is like the mind of Christ. And we need to be able to use it and Amen. to let people know you may see this picture, you may see this power couple, but we are men and women of God first. And very humble. Thank you, my love. Thank and you. that's what they get every time. Wouldn't you say, Araboa? 100%. We are um, children of God, and uh, we don't, uh, maybe because of where we came from, mm -hmm. uh, and that is, um, is a common immigrant story. Yes. When you've been... Uh, down throating oh, you come from God. nothing mm. you don't have mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. yeah. you've been humbled yes. by yeah. your experiences mm -hmm. of sometimes not having food to eat eh. yes. My Lord. not having clothing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, when i was growing up people had to take their chairs we didn't have chairs in schools they have to put chairs on their head mm -hmm. walk miles with to go to school mm -hmm. with chairs on their head you begin to appreciate life yes. and appreciate things that you get yes. from life. Mm -hmm. uh, so I come from that tradition, and she comes from that tradition. And many immigrants can understand of course, it's a immigrant our, story. our story. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. So when I come here, I, I, I have a love for people. My heart does not know anything about discrimination. Amen. Uh, that's, how I was, that's how I'm wired, my DNA. Mm -hmm. In Miami Gardens, I started the first Hispanic Heritage Month program the first Haitian Flag Day program, there was none, even though we're a predominantly African-American city, because I want to bring people together. together. That's Amen. my nature, mm -hmm. and that's what God has asked us to do. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's where we come from. Yeah. We, can, we can't help it. Yes. <laughs> and on a family um, point of view, we, we certainly raise our children with those values that were embedded in us, um, being humble, um, praying every morning, a family that prays together, stays, stays, stays together. together. Before we came here, we knelt down and we prayed. We prayed that the Holy Spirit go before us Amen. and cover everything that we do. So it's something, like he mentioned, it, it is in our DNA, and it's a part of the fabric that you see covering us. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I feel, <laughs> I can feel it right now. Yes. <laughs> I truly and can. And it's not the lights. No, it's not the lights. <laughs> I can the light feel is it. in you. I, I told you, you radiate light. <laughs> yes. Elaine, you, you inside, beautiful inside Amen. and out, Elaine. So Amen. are you. Thank you. Councilman Erebor. Yes. And Lady Shannon. Yes, we have love. a few minutes left of the program, <laughs> and I want these few minutes to be yours. Mm -hmm. uh, what is in your heart? What would you like to tell everyone listening, this program will also go live next week on Monday at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. So it'll go on and on. Mm -hmm. Those that are connected at this moment and those that will be connected as this program uh, continues uh, being promoted and being exposed. Mm -hmm. I, um, I am so excited, Elaine and and Vicky and your your husband, your co-partner in ministry, Amen. and your family. We we are we are really um, so excited to be here. Um, our story, like my husband mentioned, is it's a collective story. I believe it's an immigrant story. It's a rag to riches story, not in terms of money, but riches in knowing who you are as Amen. a child of the King of Kings. And um, 
the the road to where we are now, it was not an easy road. And we realize and recognize that where God is taking us, we would also need the support of other believers to pray for us, to pray with us, to allow us to use our voices to speak collectively. For a while, when things were extremely tough, I used to say to my husband, I wonder if it's just us. But being here to, um, today with you and your team, I now understand that it's not just us, that there is a whole world of believers, of brothers and sisters. Amen. So I would just solicit your prayers out there in, in, in um, the listeners, and I thank you for listening, to just pray for us as we run the race. Um, the race is not to the swift, but for the one who endure Amen. to the end. So I thank you so much. I'll turn it now over to Erebor. I think you said most of what needs to be said. I just want to thank uh, Elaine, this uh, wonderful uh, cast of believers Amen. for uh, being a voice uh, for positivity Amen. on the air. Mm -hmm. um, we hear too much foolishness, mm -hmm. but I thank you. Please mm -hmm. continue to support this station and support our, our show and our sister. She's a vibrant uh, woman yes. of God, so Amen. we thank you. Thank you. Uh, and those of you who are um, struggling with this uh, pandemic, please um, know that you're not alone. Yes. Uh, keep your faith. With faith, you can move mountains. Amen. He's the God that heals. Amen. Amen. He's a healer. Amen. And uh, we're praying for you. Pray for us as we run this race, and uh, with your help and God's grace, we'll will be elected on August 18th. Yes. Amen. Amen. We can celebrate. <laughs> yes, amen. 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 You have our prayers. Thank you. We thank God for your lives. Amen. We thank God for Vicky. Amen. We thank God for everyone yes. um, who joined us this afternoon and those that will join us later on. Amen. And um, we're just blessed. Amen. We're blessed to amen. be able to do what we enjoy to do, amen. which is helping uh, the fellow men. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So we can all live together. That's it. And let's talk prosperity. Let's yes. talk unity. Life. Let's mm. talk love. love. Absolutely, yes. That's what we need to focus. Amen. That's what our conversations. Healing. Yes. Yes, mm. that's what it should be about. Amen. Mm. Uh, God made us all yes. equal. Equal. Yep. To Absolutely. help each other. Yes. yes. And to carry each other. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, whenever we need that helping hand. Amen. And um, it's just been a wonderful time. Thank you here so today. much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. We enjoyed it. Thank you Amen. very much. Amen. And you're welcome to come back Amen. to one of our other programs where we'll talk about other uh, phases of your life. Yes, we would love so to. Yes. There's just a lot that yes. we can't do in 30 minutes. <laughs> Mi casa es su casa. Mi casa es su casa. Nos vemos muy pronto. We'll see you very soon. God bless God you all. God bless you. Thank you, Thank you for having care. us. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.